welcome to Real Eyes TV. So in today's episode, we're gonna go over my 1JZ and go over all the general maintenance items and basically replace all the old rubber with new rubber. So the first thing we're gonna do is pull the front sump oil pan off my old motor and put it onto this one because this one's got the rear sump oil pan. So let's grab the tools we need and let's get started. Chuck, I step away for one second. One second, I step away. And this is what you do. Turn the camera around. You just caught me, uh, just turn it around. That wasn't me, it was Richard. Richard? <laughs> I love how you guys have a drip pan and you guys caught one little dribble of oil. Yeah, we got a little bit of oil. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a balsamic oil vinaigrette. Oh, it does. <laughs> Nice, you're actually putting on gloves this time. Right, because I'm anticipating another oil spill. So this is my front sump that I need to take off, which I don't know if I can use. And look at that thing. What'd you do here, dude? That's horse thief. And that's my sway bar. Look at that. Are, are you planning on getting started anytime soon, or are you just gonna sit there? You know, like, uh, you know when you just have, there's just so much to do and you start thinking about things and it just and starts like building up and you just get overwhelmed and you just sit there and start thinking about random stuff. You just, you just never get started. Yeah. Like when you show yeah. up to your shop and you just sit on your couch for an hour. I never do that. You're lying. I do that every time. And if it's just like one thing that I need to do, it's like, okay, well, let's get started. But it's like, where do I start? It's no wonder Jason, it takes forever for Jason to run one wire throughout the car. And it's like, what did you do the last three hours? Like, well, I ran this power line throughout the car. That's all you did? Honestly, no one is going to see this part. Look at this. Phone. Yeah, everyone's going to see it in this video, Chuck. <laughs> Could you keep it quiet over there, dude? I can't Come even on, I can't man. even hear myself think, Richard. Oh, and Teddy hardly thinks. <laughs> Ouch. Got that thick wedge. Sick. There you go. Dude, can you use that rinky dink little screwdriver to try to do this? Goes nice and hollow. <laughs> like your brain? Oh. It's a good one, Teddy. Thank you broken finger joke. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Look at that. We gotta take the baffle off to get to the other bolts that is holding the, I don't know what the other part of the, the oil pan. That news is, that news is truly baffling. Are you gonna remember how all this goes back together? Doesn't matter because it's the old motor. <laughs> well, true. Hold this, Teddy. What are you gonna do with those, Chuck? Hold it! Where, how am I supposed to hold it with my bare hands? Have you seen my valve covers? I haven't. Let me show you. Oh. Wow. Yeah. It'd be nice with the sun, but it's not really glistening right now. You use the flake. I use the flake, but I did a hella coat. Holy cow, it looks like a low rider almost. Oh, those look cool. Yep. Shiny. Pretty cool, huh? That's all you wanted to show me? That's all I wanted to show you. Yeah, put some muscle into that. Yeah. Use your super strength. Did you forget some bolts or what? It's almost as if there's another bolt in there. Yeah, I mean, it's... You know what it is, Teddy? It's this shit on the outside, which you didn't see. What? <laughs> oh, look how easy that was. Piece of cake. Oh, God. Wow. All right, hold this. Go, okay, yeah, great, perfect. All right, Richard, what are we doing? Well, you missed out on a lot, a lot of we work. I wonder why you missed out on all the we work <laughs> because you weren't helping them. Wow. The brackets are done for your corner lights, so they're in place. They're not gonna nice, go anywhere. Nice and solid. Um, other than that, we're doing some little brackets for your bumper, so when you Ooh. pop the zip tie, you'll have some play and they'll stay there. Nice. And yeah, finishing it off with some black paint. Yeah. 
I think you missed the spot. Oh, right here. <laughs> All right, now that we got the pans off, we're gonna go in and get them dipped in the parts wash so that they can be prepped to be put on the new motor. Finally, you're here. I'm waiting all morning for you, dude. <laughs> what? Dude, it's like 7 a.m. Look at the sun. Not 7 a.m. Oh, well, it feels like 7 a.m. Oh, you're using your new fancy camera? Yeah. Welcome back, everybody, to Real Life TV. My name's Teddy. Hey, so, uh, what's your game plan, Chuck? My game plan is you're going to put the camera down and help me move all these tires that are in the way for Super D. No, because I got to film you. The funny part of all this is you struggling to I get the engine to out. No. Teddy. Yo. I watched your underglow video. Did you? Yeah. What about it? It was mediocre. Teddy! Yes. Oh, yeah. I see this. So frustrating. Jason! Use that SRS, Chuck. We got a lot to do today. Did you just say we or you? I said you. One last clip left. You can't do anything for yourself. How do I do this? Just, this way? Yeah, you just depress it right there. It, isn't that press? You don't need that finger. <laughs> I mentally must use both hands. Is this, I have my methods. Can you just let me do okay, my let's thing? let's see if your method works. Number six. Damn. All right, thanks, Teddy. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> something done. All right, so can we see if you can get your little lady hands in here and get the clips off for the injectors? I know you're talking to her, not me. I'm actually talking to you, miss. My hands are bigger than yours. My hands are bigger than yours. Look it. No, it's not. What? You're the thing. <laughs> oh, I can't get it. I can't get it. <laughs> I hate you. I hope you get it, though, because we need to move on to the next thing. Boom. Thank you, miss. This motor still has oil in it. We have to drain it. Yeah, let's oh, not, I have to drain it. Right, well, let's not do what you did last time. I knew you would do what last time. Enough, Teddy. Oh, my God. This is so boring and mundane. You know what I realized from holding this thing? You know how we're looking for a second pan? It's yeah. stacked together. The other pan's oh, underneath it. What an idiot. <laughs> Teddy, uh, why don't we find a jug or something to put this uh, oil in? You talking to me? Who the f else is named Teddy? I'm gonna rock it your way. You got something to stick in there? Yeah, I got that. That gun that came off of it. It's too small. Ah! Oh, oh no, nope. nope. Ooh, ah, that's that's definitely lie. tipping. <laughs> it's, it's only going this way. No, no, no. We'll, here, I'll, I'll push it with you. I'll go. Ready? Yep. Time out. Is the head going to hit this tray? That's a great question, Todd. We're just going to have to find out. Ready? One, two. <laughs> <There>. oh. <laughs> Done. Hey. I thought I was going to back around. <laughs> 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 Take <Chuck> out. <laughs> This part's so tedious. One. One. It has been five minutes. You got one. Dude. What an idiot. What are you oh. doing? What are you doing? What a disaster. What happened? What a disaster, Chuck. Wait, 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 wait. Will you just let that happen? <laughs> Wheel sensor. Oh, oh, whoa. Is it, is it pressure or I forget what it's I don't think, I don't think this will reach must pressure. Be, it must be, it'll give you the oil, oil light. light. Oil light oil if you're level. too low. Yeah. yeah wow. That's pretty cool though. That is pretty cool. 
Is this one identical to the other one that came out? Oh wow, they're actually pretty different. It's definitely not the same. Oh my gosh. You needed that diesel torque. Ooh. Whoa, dude, that O ring kit. It's hmm. perfect fit. Like Cinderella slipper. Like Picasso. <laughs> All right, so that's it for today. <laughs> Doesn't hurt to double check one last time. You never know. We have to clean this out because there's a bunch of metal shavings right there. Holy oh. crap. Dang. The thing is, it's not coming out. See? Right. Science. Oh, yeah. Right. Two pieces. That is brilliant. Damn, you never would have got that out with just like brake cleaner and wishful thinking. Cool. You do it the right way, you can walk away from it. Well, I mean, this is pretty makeshift. This works. Where did Chuck go? No idea. What are you doing? Hey. Did you say you ordered a new pickup? Yeah, look, brand new. No, no metal shavings from the factory. <laughs> I'm sure there's also an order to this too. Where have you been this whole time? I've been in the shop looking for you. No, I've been waiting for you this whole time. No, what do you do? What are you doing? The pan's on. Let's flip this thing around. Let's do the timing belt. Cool, bro. Look at my artistic shop. Like that? Kyle! What? What are you doing? Stuff. Are you taking a nap under there, dude? Yeah, dude. dude. Super sick. You comfy or what? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how the hell I'm gonna get this all out. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Teddy, we gotta zap that bolt off. Let's do it. Just get an impact. Here. Why wouldn't it work? Wait, why? Oh, never mind. Oh, I don't know. It'll probably split. Why are we pulling this off? Oh, timing belt. Yeah. Why are you pulling this off? Shut up. You know, I have stuff to do. I'm not here to work on your car. Oh, yeah. You're not trying to. Oh. Okay, let Amanda do it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Amanda? Why is it so dirty? Hey, uh, I heard that you have cam gears here. I don't actually. I sold that with the motor. God damn. Anyways. <laughs> so those HKS cam yeah, gears. I'm trying to get him. Uh, Let's yeah. put them on. Sure. Go buy them. Chuck, you're doing it wrong. No. <laughs> oh, look at that. Looks just like a 4AG. It's actually just a, just a long 4AG. So we started in, we started an Instagram live video and our productivity just shot down 200% now.
But if you guys are in the chat, say hi to yourselves. We got Julian today running our Instagram live stream. Yeah. If you guys don't follow us on Instagram, please make sure you do. At Auto Factory Realize, all one word. Yes, it does. Sick, bro. Can you anodize these purples so they look like Whoa, each other? Yeah. Poser. <laughs> yeah. I always watch that like when I like watch uh, late night television. Amazing. What? This. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, just taking a chill pill, man. It's freaking hot in here. Yeah? Yeah. Chuck, get off the Instagram live feed and get back to work. Thank God you're finally off Instagram. I'm gonna slap you because that was your phone and you decided to go no, live. No, that's not true. And you're the one that you were loving it, man. And I'm just trying to get this work done. And now look at us. It's like 10 p.m. and nothing has been done. Cam seals, bro. So you don't have a. But you need a cam seal puller? Jason thinks I need one. Jason! Yeah, broke it. What about it? You, I want you to do it. Do you recall this conversation that we had? I said, you gotta get this cam seal pullers. Yeah, but you said we'd be able to do it without it. You can. Just get a pick and pull it. Put your back into it. Jason, how about you do the first one and I'll do the second one? Jason? Sounds pretty sexual. Thank you, Koyo. Woo! <laughs> nice. In my room. You should just go get the damn seal puller. Jose, a Toyota mechanic, so a room 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 master room. tech on his day off, who currently owns this car with a cracked transmission because it's too fucking low. Damn, dude. Like butter. See? Damn. I brought the cam seal puller here. You're worthless, uh, Chuck. And Chuck, you know what they say, it takes a village to raise a child, but it also takes a village to build your car. That's right, you're the child. Eventually? <laughs> Just like it, just like you type it in, even an hour here. And then write HKS on one of the. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck's old motor, the gear, he said it fell out. Oh wow. Yeah. Two. Get it. Well done. Use those German torque specs for that? Good and tight. <laughs> Julian knows. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the internet's gonna criticize you for doing this. The internet. I mean, what the, 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 the internet. <laughs> How many Yagadegas was that? That was maybe three. Three Yagadegas? Yeah. Explain oh, the theory of Yagadegas. So, Yagadega <laughs> is as soon as you hear the. Brrrr, from the impact gun, uh, usually depending on the impact gun, but it's usually about to run the same. It's about 70 foot pounds per ugaduga. Per ugaduga, so which is about like oh. that's one ugaduga. That's one ugaduga. So that's about 70 foot pounds. So just so how many ugadugas do we need for the crank bolt? Well, if that's 291 foot pounds, that's probably about 40, about four, maybe. Four. Five? A solid five of Gadugas. Yeah, about five. So, yeah, there you go. One more. Perfect. There you go. See, that's it. That's how you tighten a crank fully. Cool. Just talk up. All right, guys. Just gotta button up the valve covers. We've basically done all the seals that are necessary. Got the tensioner in, new water pump, and this thing's basically ready to drop in. All right, well, is that, it? is that it for the old motor? That's it. You broke the Nothing else you got to pull off of it? Nothing else. She's done. She's done. Any last words, any goodbyes you wanna say? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. All right. As I walk, through the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left. Chuck, would you like to add anything? Say any final goodbyes? Throw it in the gutter, go buy another one. All right. That's so slow. <laughs> <laughs>